yes, yes, yes. So, it's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. It's the likes, it's the subscribes, it's the comments, it's the shares. And let's go. So, news has just broke that Amir Khan claims he and Manny Pacquiao have signed to fight in Saudi Arabia later this year. The news has been broken by Talk Sports, a reputable organization. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, Khan has been begging for this fight for years now, and with perhaps the help of Saudi money, he has gotten his wish. So, Amir Khan has announced he will finally get his fight with Manny Pacquiao. The Bolton-born star held a press conference at his gym in Bolton today and talk sportsman Dominic McGuinness revealed the news. Where are we? Where's the article? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let us continue. All right. Khan says he is signed for the fight that will go down on November the 8th. November the 8th in Riyadh. In Ri Riyadh. I think that's how you pronounce it. Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Pacquiao is also reported to have signed the deal. Despite being in a fight, a upcoming fight of his own. Of course, we know that is uh, Pacquiao v. Thurman. So... The question is, does it matter if he beats Thurman or loses to Thurman? Hmm, interesting. So, Khan is coming off an alleged seven or reputed seven million pounds payday that he secured by defeating Billy Dib last week, also in Saudi Arabia. And in this tweet, let's go to the tweet. Where is the tweet? Oh, here it is. Dominic McGuinness. Back in Bolton. Amir Khan says he signed to fight Manny Pacquiao in November the 8th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Okay. 1.17 p.m. July 16th, 2019. Okay. So. Pacquiao is now 40. Or rather, Pacquiao now 40 has his 71st professional fight this weekend when he takes on Keith Thurman for the WBA Super Welterweight title. Pacquiao is the older of the regular version of that belt. Okay, so he's going for the Super, the super title, Super Welterweight title. He's already got the regular. Alright, fine. So... Mm -hmm. Okay, that seems to conclude the article. So, my dissection. Like I said before, it appears that this would imply if both parties have already signed for the fight. Of course, they've trained together before. Here we see uh, the coach, whose name escapes me, Roach. Yeah. So, wildcard, wildcard gym. So, it appears that if both parties have already signed, it appears that, that the, 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 the fight is not contingent on Pacquiao winning. Unless there's a clause in the contract. There's a... What is that? Hunter? Yeah. So, the coach, the boxer, Khan. So, it appears that regardless of whether Pacquiao beats Thurman or not, the fight is on. Seems like Saudi Arabia is funding these types of matchups. Seems like Khan's fight with Billy Dib was just testing the water, testing the market, testing the appeal of these types of shows in Saudi Arabia. Mm, shame he couldn't uh, have uh, made that fight with uh, Kel Brook. In the UK, UK, no, Saudi Arabia is calling and uh, Khan has dipped his toe in the water over there and they seem to 
have had a good reception or he seems to have had a good reception. It seems like they've tested the market and the market is good for such fights. What's wrong with this right bicep? The left one's bigger. Or oh, the pitch is reversed. I don't know, but one of them, has he had a peck there or something? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yeah, Pacquiao v. Khan seems to be, seems to have been made. Saudi Arabia. There's a tweet. Back in Bolton, Amir Khan. Oh, King Khan, sorry. Amir King Khan, my excuse me, says he's signed to fight Manny Pacquiao on November the 8th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So, I guess, you know, you need to book your tickets, book your flights, book your hotels, make sure everything is in order, or you might miss this, uh, this event. Okay. What, what else can I say? Um, it's Raphael Dawkins. <laughs> it's the Combat Radio. It's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comments, it's the shares, it's the have your say. And I am out.